everybody, Stephanie here from Instant Pot Basics and Beyond, and today we're going super basic. We're going to make mashed potatoes. Now you may ask, why do I need to make mashed potatoes in my Instant Pot? I can do it on the stove. Doesn't take that long. And you'd be right. This is not one of those recipes that's like super duper insanely faster than doing it on the stove. Might be a little bit faster, more or less about the same, but you don't have to pay attention to it. There's no fiddling, so with the temperature, is it too high? You got potato water boiling over, it's too low, now they're not cooking. It's annoying, right? You gotta, well, besides, you're probably trying to get other things cooked and keeping an eye on potatoes is just distracting you. So do them in your Instant Pot and you don't have to pay attention to them. It's a wonderful thing. The other awesome thing is that once they're done, you can put them back in your Instant Pot, set it to warm, and they can stay warm in there for like three hours game changer. If you've got a big meal planned, you know, get your potatoes done early. All you need is an outlet. They're not taking up space on your stove. Um, it's excellent. So for today, we're starting with four pounds of potatoes. Use whatever you want. Reds, Yukons, Russets. I don't know what other kinds there are. <laughs> um, do a combination, whatever kind of potatoes you like. These are Russets. It's what I happen to have. Um, usually I make Yukon gold. Peel them or not, up to you. If I have peels in my mashed potatoes, my children won't eat them, so we just go without, peel them, not a big deal. Um, so I live in Idaho and you can buy them in bulk. Um, I'm not sure if it's that way in other states. So if you can't, if you just have like five pound bags, you should be able to fit a five pound bag in the Instant Pot. Um, just make sure that your water, water level doesn't exceed the max fill line. Um, if you need more than four pounds of potatoes, you can easily double this and then an eight quart instant pot. So, in go the potatoes. Um, you want to cut them one inch cubish. I mean, they're potatoes, so they're not going to be exact cubes. You want them all relatively the same size so they cook evenly. You know, basic cooking instructions. And dump those in. Then we're gonna cover them with just like an inch or two. No, oh, there went one. I'd say I'll feed that to my dog. I don't have a dog. <clears throat> All right, in go the potatoes. So this is probably like three quarters of the way full. Sorry, I didn't get my other camera out today. Then we're gonna add two teaspoons of salt. Let me get me some more salt. This is fine grain, you can do kosher, whatever. Just put some salt in there. Pink Himalayan, flaky, I don't know. I'm not a fancy salt girl. All right, and then we're gonna pour some water in. All right, so that was eight cups of water and actually is about, where's my max cup line? <clears throat> I'm gonna add just a little bit more. So I've got room to add more water. <clears throat> Sorry, I was hoping that would be enough. All right, here we go. There we go. So there's the 10 line and then the next little, or two ticks above that is where the water level's at. Okay, so we've got salt, we've got water, we got potatoes. That's all you need. We're gonna put the lid on. So remember, you can line up your arrows in the front or just make sure the big part is in the back. Lock it in place. Turn your venting valve to sealing. Again, and sorry if you've watched all these and I repeat myself every time, but if you're new, you need to know these things. This is the only video you ever watch. So your venting valve is gonna be all loosey-goosey until it locks in place. It's okay. Just make sure it's over there at the sealing spot. The silver pin will pop up once it comes to pressure to lock the lid in place. So we're gonna do a manual cook for eight minutes. So again, you're gonna adjust your time, up or down, plus or minus, to get to your eight minutes. Um, once it knows that that's what you really want it to do, it will say on. It will say on until it comes to pressure. It will release some steam as it comes to pressure. It's normal, it's fine, don't worry about it. Once it comes to pressure, it will lock, and this will start with your time, and it will count down. Once it counts down, we're going to do a quick release, so you flip it open, throw a towel or a wash rag or something over it because it's going to spit water everywhere. Kind of like when you do pasta, the macaroni and cheese. Um, let it release. 
that I'm not going to come back on after we do this video, so I'm just going to tell you all now because it's just mashed potatoes. Um, drain them, get some hot pads, it's going to be hot, take out the inner pot, drain them, put them back in the pot, mash them up, get your handy dandy potato masher, you want to use mixer, whatever you do to mash your potatoes. Um, and then the recipe that I will reference, she warms milk and buttermilk, no, milk and buttermilk? Maybe it's just milk and butter. Oh, what an idea. Um, and I think she puts some garlic in there and like warms that up and then like works on stirring that combo in. I make mashed potatoes. I chunk up some butter, throw it in. Um, usually add salt, but I don't salt my water when I cook them on the stove. So salt to your preference. Um, and some milk and just call it good and just mix them up in the pot. That's how I do it. So make your mashed potatoes, however you like your mashed potatoes. I think she also adds in some sour cream. I know some people add cream cheese. You can do whatever you want with your mashed potatoes. Um, you could add bacon and cheese. That'd be delicious. Um, because bacon and cheese make everything better. Anyhow, and then like I said, if you need to, just hit the warm button. Um, put the lid back on. It's not going to seal or anything because it's not coming back up to pressure. I forgot chips today. Um, yeah, and then you can just let them hang out. For a couple hours till you need them. The other cool thing is if this makes too many mashed potatoes for you, um, if you wanted you could certainly do half the amount, but mashed potatoes freeze really well. So what I do to freeze mine, I've actually done it two different ways. At Christmas time, um, or is it Thanksgiving, I had a whole leftover 9 by 13 pan of potatoes that we didn't eat. So I stuck, did I? Yes. I stuck the whole pan in the freezer, sorry, <laughs> let them freeze, once they were frozen, I cut them into squares, pretend like you're cutting up brownies or something. Took the squares out, put them in a baggie, threw them like freezer bag, threw them back in the freezer. And then when you need them, you just like pull out a couple portions, zap them in the microwave, and you're good to go. If you don't have them already in a pan, the other way to do it is line a sheet tray, cooking sheet, whatever you want to call it, a pan, um, with some parchment paper. Use a ice cream scoop, or I have like a, a giant cookie scoop that I use for muffins. And you just like portion them out, blah, 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 on the sheet. Freeze that. And then once they're frozen, pull them off, throw them into a bag. And then as you need them, just pull out whatever you need. Um, you know, you can figure usually one blob is probably a portion. I mean, if you like mashed potatoes, call it two, whatever. Um, and then, yeah, you just warm them up in the microwave and you've got mashed potatoes that took, you know, five minutes. <laughs> Anyhow, so there's an idea. If you have leftover mashed potatoes, so maybe make the whole batch, and then it's like I do the same thing with rice. Make a bunch at once, put the extra in the freezer, so the next time you need them, then that's one less thing you have to cook for that meal. Um, we're busy, right? That's why we have an Instant Pot, because we like things to be done faster or need less attention, because we have other things or other people that need our attention other than cooking. Anyhow, so I will, after this video is done, there will still be the slide that gives you all the cooking times and stuff. I just figured you would really need me to watch me drain potatoes and mash them up with potato masher. So this is what you get today. Um, I hope this is helpful. I hope you give it a try. Again, maybe not the fastest thing in the world. I think the last time I did it, it still takes about 20 minutes. But you don't have to pay attention to it. You just let it go and you go do other things. And then you come back and you're ready to go. And you don't have potato mess. Maybe that's just me that their potatoes always boil over and I've got a mess then to clean up. In addition to making dinner. Anyhow. Um, I hope you that find this helpful. Um, feel free to like us on Facebook, um, subscribe and like on YouTube, share with your friends, share the instant pot love, um, and I hope you have a great day.